Hey everyone, welcome back to another one of my YouTube training videos. Today I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm here joined by Ben Mail from Inbound.org, uh, who is actually a HubSpot consultant. Uh, say hey Ben. Hey, how's it going guys? <laughs> and so what I want to do here in this video is um, Ben is a HubSpot consultant and I wanted to answer the question like how does Pipedrive compare to HubSpot? Um, as I, uh, with the videos that I put out and the clients that I've worked with, and I'm sure Ben is the same, like I get asked sometimes, what is the difference between Pipedrive and other tools, or how does it compare, what are the advantages? And so the purpose of this video, it's not designed to say that any one tool is better. Um, we really just want to discuss the pros and cons of each, and if you are considering HubSpot or Pipedrive, yeah, just to help you make a, a bit of an informed decision. Um, just to, before we get into it, Ben, do you want to give like a bit of a blurb on yourself and just tell people a little bit about what you do and your experience with HubSpot? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. So I run a growth marketing agency called Inbound, and the goal of that for us is to help businesses go through inbound marketing, and that's kind of how HubSpot and us are related. So HubSpot um, are behind something called an inbound methodology, which is all about attracting people in towards their business. So the tool HubSpot is all about how can we help people come in towards the website as opposed to do anything outbound. So we use HubSpot as our main tool. Um, we've been using that for the last few years, working with ourselves and our clients, and it's easily been kind of like the best tool we've adopted, and it's probably like fully responsible for all the great success we've had working with our clients on our set and ourselves as well. Yeah. So for people that haven't heard HubSpot, can you describe it in simple terms? So, I mean, if I t talk about the Pipedrive side first, Pipedrive is a sales CRM. So it lets you um, see all of the deals and prospects that you currently have in progress and where they sit in that sales journey. And then you can manage your activities and, and that whole sales process from, you know, right from when you get a new lead coming in up until hopefully when they sign up and pay for your service. And so it's got all that sort of deal flow and activity management and reporting built in. How does HubSpot compare? Because I know it actually has some extra features that Pipedrive doesn't. Yeah, so I would call HubSpot like a lifecycle growth software, uh, meaning it covers off almost all interaction points with customers. So marketing, sales, and service. Service being something new that HubSpot's brought on board. But traditionally, they were a marketing and sales software. So same same with Pipedrive in terms of they've got a nice deal board and you can move things step by step. You can go into a contact record and change bits and pieces and you can do automations for that so everything flows nicely. Yeah. And then they also have marketing and service stuff so you can do campaigns through your marketing and it's all linked up as okay. well. So what, what would you say then is like the main, the number one difference that you think sets HubSpot apart from Pipedrive or any other CRM for that matter? Yeah, cool. So from a CRM point of view, I'd say um, their free forever is pretty cool, HubSpot CRM. So when they try to get people to use HubSpot, they offer um, like a, a free HubSpot, which includes the free CRM and a few other little tools that help collect data and pull it into your portal so you can right. start playing with it. Um, there is um, a paid version, which unlocks more features, um, but the free feature, even by itself, has all the stuff you need, which is really cool. So the deal boards, moving things across, updating content records. Yeah. You can create a few templates to send people, templated emails. So that's, that's, that's a really strong point they offer, kind of straight off the ground, you can just get in and get going. Okay, great. Well, I think, uh, yeah, to compare on the pipe drive side, I would say the number one thing people are attracted to and or the big selling point that really stands makes it stand out is its simplicity. So um, it's just very easy to set up and customize uh, and, and just start using. And I think with some sales teams, that's often the challenge. And I'm sure you've seen it as well, Ben, like getting a team to adopt a tool is hard. But with Pipedrive anyway, it's very easy to use. Um, and so people are often just attracted to something that's, that's nice and simple. Um, so why don't we talk about some of the limitations then? Um, and and I don't mind kicking off. I would say with simplicity and pipe drive, that's great. How it differs, I think, from other CRMs is um, if you want to do some of like the email marketing and automation um, that's slightly more sophisticated, you sometimes have to plug in other tools. Pipedrive has a bit of automation and email built in, but if you want to do more like drip campaigns and things, you need to integrate Pipedrive with a third-party tool like MailChimp or something. Um, same thing with you know dashboards. Um, Pipedrive has some, some really good reporting, but if you want more sophisticated dashboards and things, you might need a third party. And same with like calling as well. You know, there are some calls recording add-ons that you can plug in and Pipedrive does have a good marketplace but yeah I guess if you don't want to be managing too many tools um, Pipedrive yeah does sometimes rely on adding on extra features and things from other third parties and I would say that's probably the main limitation that Pipedrive has anyway. Right cool okay I guess the one for HubSpot is pretty similar as well it would be um, to get 
all the additional stuff you do need to create, like um, you need to purchase a sales pro license. So aside from having the free tool, if you want to jump on board and start using sequences and playbooks and all the other cool features they do, then that becomes like a sales pro license and that scales with however many people are using right. it. Yeah. And so, and can you talk through a little bit more about the pricing? So how much w would that cost? Yeah, cool. So for HubSpot, um, just for the sales side of things, the, the CRM and everything is free when you sign up. And then I think, depending on how they've changed pricing recently, I think it's somewhere around fifty dollars uh, per person per month for a seat on Sales Pro. Right. Um, between fifteen hundred dollars. So if you've got a team of four or five people, whatever, it's pretty manageable. If that scales up, it goes up as well. But um, that would be the pricing for sales. But they usually try to package it with other bits and pieces. Yeah. Well. Yeah. There's lots of different add-ons you can you can plug in. I've seen yeah, which is nice. Yeah. I think yeah, with with Pipe Drive, it's pretty straightforward. They basically have three tiers. There's silver, there's gold, and there's platinum. Silver, you're looking at twelve US dollars per user per month. Uh, gold is twenty five dollars per user per month, and platinum, I think, is around seventy seventy five. Per month. Um, the unfortunate thing with Pipedrive's pricing is everyone in your account currently has to be on the same plan. So it's unfortunate if you've got a manager who wants to be on Platinum and somebody an admin who wants to be on oh, okay. and Currently, that's not possible. Um, but it is a really nice, um, um, affordable way to get started with a CRM if you're a small business. And I guess that leads into my next question, like, who would be the ideal customer um, for the CRM. And I think on the pipe drive side, it's really just, if you have a pretty straightforward sales process, you just need a, a nice simple tool to manage your workflow um, and, and something nice and affordable pipe drive. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, ticks all those boxes. Um, if you do want to get more advanced, uh, pipe drive can handle that. Like I said earlier, there are some limitations, um, definitely possible, but yeah, you're going to have to rely on some third party tools. Um, so yeah, with that in mind, um, Ben, what would be, um, what would you describe as maybe the ideal or perfect HubSpot user like type of business? Yeah, I think it's, um, it's quite flexible since it has kind of the freemium model. We can get in and do a whole bunch of stuff. So I think it appeals to a lot of people since you can, um, you can set up an account in minutes and jump in and start playing with everything. I think that since it has a lot of tools in house or in HubSpot itself that it can do, it doesn't need to integrate too much with other things in terms yeah. of sequences, and automations and stuff. So I think people who are pretty, pretty serious about sales, and would like to use the plethoric amount of options that HubSpot actually offers. Yeah. Um, it would be for those kind of salespeople who really love to kind of like drill down on setting up every little bit of automation and template and sequence and having everything just perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, um, now Ben, thanks. Thanks again for joining me today. It's, it's, it's really good to compare um, the two tools and thanks for your input. Do you have any like final, um, I don't know, words of wisdom you'd like to share or if people want to get in touch with you, what would be the best way to do that? Yeah, um, so no no codes or anything for me, but I have my email, so just being at inbound.org.nz, and that'll be in the video description, I think, so that's perfect. Um, just reach out to me if you've got any questions. Um, but words of wisdom, I think, um, coming back to that last point, HubSpot is really cool if you are looking to combine it with other elements of the business as well, so marketing or service or whatever it is. Um, usually really simple stuff. So if you're just looking to kind of like collect a bit of information from people and then take a bit of um, analysis from that and then maybe do some sales activities with them and start to understand that better. Um, the HubSpot free features are a really good first step for that. Nice, nice. All right, well, thanks, thanks again. Um, yeah, and if you um, want to try Pipedrive, there are details in the description below this video on how you can get an extended trial of Pipedrive. And uh, yeah, one more time, thanks, Ben, for joining me today. Yeah, no worries.